Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back and happy Friday. It's time for another Friday Harp stream. Hope you all had a good week. I feel like I had an okay week. I'm feeling a little stressed this week, but it's mostly just because of pressure that I put on myself. So <laughs> I'm trying to just remember to breathe. Also, I have, so if you've been to this stream a few times, you will have recognized the water bottle that I usually drink from. It's blue, has like a straw. Um, I've sadly had to retire it this week because there's a black spot in the mouthpiece that will not wash out. So we, we, we say goodbye, we thank it for its service at the end of an era. So right now I'm just going with this cup. I think it's too small. I think I would like to get a cup that's like, has a little more volume. So I'm gonna be hitting up the thrift store probably in the next week or so. But I also do need to get like another water bottle that I can bring to like my gigs and stuff. So yeah, that's something for me to do. But yes, it's a, it's it's mildly sad. It served me well. I, I think I've had it for probably at least seven years, I think. So it did well, it did well, but all good things must come to an end as they say. Yeah, farewell. <laughs> All right. So, have I been sleeping better this week? Uh, yes and no. So, I, I realized that I think the, the biggest problem was that, so about, at the, at the beginning of January, I got a, a night guard. So, it's like the thing that you, you get like a mold of your teeth, and then you like get a plastic thing that you put in your mouth so that at night when you grind your teeth, it protects your teeth and it like helps prevent like tension headaches in the jaw and stuff because around Christmas time I was having like crazy like headaches and like jaw pain and stuff it was wild so so I got a night guard it took me a little while to get used to it but then I did it was fine for a couple weeks and then suddenly I don't know it's just like 
it, I, my mouth was getting so dried out that I was waking up constantly during the night. Um, so I don't know why it took me like a week to figure that out, but <laughs> I took it out um, and then I slept better, but I, I didn't sleep enough to like really recover from the sleep debt. Um, and then I got it adjusted so that like my bottom lip can close a little better. Um, and then I, I used it last night. It was better, but I think still a little more disrupted than my sleep without it. I don't know. It's kind of... I think I need some time to like sleep in and nap and stuff. I'm, I'm quite bad at napping though, which... whatever we're already here so I I tend to have a hard time breathing through my nose at night because it's just like my sinuses are always just like too congested like I'm not sick my nostrils are clear it's just like it's not like I can't breathe through my nose at all it's just like not it doesn't feel free enough I guess and I kind of just was like I don't know I guess that's just how my life is but I'm like Maybe I go and ask my doctor about that, because <laughs> maybe I don't have to live like this, you know? What a world that would be. Hammer Shark said, I can never nap on purpose, it always happens accidentally. I, yeah, I have a really hard time napping on purpose. I find that in general, I tend to nap better if I try to nap on the couch compared to napping on my bed. I do not know why. It's not a guarantee, but I think it's sort of like, if I'm on the couch and I'm like watching TV or whatever and I'm kind of already drifting off, like all I need to do is like turn off the TV and lie down and then I'll just like fall asleep. I don't know. But yeah, I don't know. I think this weekend I, I need to try to rest some more. I don't know. It's... It's a, <laughs> it's a work in progress. It's a work in progress. All right, let's play a little bit of music here. My outfit today looks great. Thank you. Um, I'm playing at a wedding later today, so this is my this is my wedding outfit. I figured because they said that their color scheme is like blush and red, so I was like, okay, this top works. And then I was like, I could go with black pants, but I, I like these pants with this top. And like, I don't know, they're really comfortable pants, but every time I wear them, people are like, oh, it's not over here. Every time I wear these pants, people are like, wow, those pants look amazing. You look so dressed up. So we're going to try these pants and see how it goes. <laughs> Thought it was a skirt. Yeah, they're very wide leg pants. They're really, really comfortable. And I love them. <laughs> Uh, it, it does kind of look like a skirt when I'm sitting though, you're right. Which, I mean, it's not a bad thing. Um, but yeah, so that's why I'm dressed nice today. <laughs> anyway, alright, let's play some music. We're gonna start with the Lumpy Pumpkin, because why not?
Skyward Sword to start us off there. I should say I am definitely feeling better, like, as far as, like, the lack of sleep stuff goes. I definitely am feeling better than how I was a week ago. Like, I feel like by the time Saturday rolled around, I felt so sleep deprived that it was, like, it's like the speaking part of my brain had like disconnected from the thinking part of my brain and so I was like trying to teach and stuff and I was just like my mouth no longer <laughs> feels like it can function <laughs> it was like really bizarre so I'm not quite at that point I'm a little sleepy today but not not to that extent <laughs> sorry Taj you're gonna be eating some expensive chocolate I mean hey you know that's good too that's good too I used to work at a Godiva chocolate store. I don't miss it, but it was, the chocolate was good, man. It was really good. Okay, so, what should we do next? Da -da -da -da. Do -do 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 -do. Mm hmm. Let's do, let's do, let's do some To the Moon today. I feel like it's been a few streams since we had Four River.
As I was playing that, I was like, I might have played it last week. <laughs> but it doesn't really matter. Scoot my bench closer there. All right. That's a, that's a favorite of mine. Such a pretty one. Thank you, thank you. It still just feels so weird to not be drinking out of my water bottle. Looks wistfully into the distance. <laughs> okay. Um, I kind of feel like um, playing that one that uh, Neri requested the other stream. A cat relaxing in the sun. I can't resist it. It's about a cat. You know? Alright. Let's do it. Octopath Traveler today. I haven't played Haunt in a while from Octopath 1. Can we have a hint of which Zelda song you recorded a few days ago? Uh, I'm trying to think how, how can I give a hint without totally giving it away. Um, okay, so as, as Brandroid has mentioned, this past week I, I did record a new video. Uh, it is a Zelda song. It's a song that I play on stream fairly frequently. I guess that's what I would say. But I was like, it didn't have its own dedicated video. 
So I was like, seems like a good time to, to make one. So I guess that's the hint. <laughs> Hammer Shark, thanks for stopping by. I'll see you again later. Am I finally making Lon Lon Ranch? Well, uh, no. I'll tell you that much, I guess. Lon Lon Ranch is in a video. It's in the Ocarina of Time Play to Sleep. So I guess I could make it its own video as well, but I don't know. We'll see. If I ever put together sheet music, that's probably what I'll do. But... <clears throat> All right, let's do some Octopath here. We're going to do Haunt the Hunter. is just getting squeaky, which is not great. <laughs> hmm. My other harp has a squeaky bass as well. So I don't love that. Um, I don't know. I don't know what's up with that. Maybe it's just because it's a little dry today. I don't know. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. 
this wiki base? I'm not entirely sure. I think like sometimes it's a matter of like some of the screws that are holding it on to the rest of the harp can be loose or whatever. So if it doesn't go away, then I can maybe take a look at that. Sometimes it's like the feet on the harp are loose. I don't know. I want a new harp. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. I think it's okay. It's not a big deal. What next? What next? I think I'll do one more and then I'll start taking requests. Mm. Let's do some Chrono Trigger maybe just because I've been playing that. Um, let's do Wind Scene because I like it.
Here we go. That's Wind Scene from Chrono Trigger. I think I'm getting close to the end of Chrono Trigger. I spent a while being confused about where I was supposed to go, which hasn't really happened to me in quite a long time. Um, I've been trying not to use guides, but there have been a couple of times when I'm like, I just have to look this up because I have no idea. Um, but what's been interesting is while I've been like, where am I supposed to go? I'm like exploring more than I probably normally would in a game and kind of finding like, oh, there's like a whole thing here for me to do that I probably would not have found otherwise. So it's kind of interesting because I do feel like in older games, I was more inclined to explore and just like kind of mess around. <laughs> Um, but I, I don't know. I, obviously, like, Breath of the Wild, Tears of the King, I'm, like, not included, because those, the point of those games, I feel like, is to explore. But anyway, it's been interesting. Ectobast, you've been hunting Koroks. I do think Koroks are really hard to find in Breath of the Wild. I find them so easy to find. In Tears of the Kingdom. It's just like anywhere you go, if you just look a little bit, you're like, hmm, that looks a little weird. I bet there's a Korok there. I think I think in Breath of the Wild, I don't know how many I had, but it wasn't that many, like maybe a hundred. And that was like after like really trying to look for some of them. In Tears of the Kingdom, I have over 200, like without really trying, just like walking around and stuff. Um, but okay, so Korok Forest. I don't think I have that in my iPad already, so I'm gonna have to... Take a look. But yeah, we can start requests now. Um, so if you're new or you haven't been here in a while, what we do is you can put a request that you'd like to hear in the chat. Um, I can't always play everything that's requested for various reasons, so thanks in advance for being cool about it. And um, generally, like video game and anime music or Celtic music are kind of our favorites here. Um, and I do also need sheet music to be able to play it. Um, Okay, yeah, Neri, if you want to post a link in Discord, that would be great, and we'll we'll take a look at that one after we do Korok Forest. Okay. Um, once again, my iPad is hitting my keyboard inexplicably. Okay. a go. It looks pretty pedally, but we'll, we'll give it our best shot. All right. Wait, hang on. I missed a note already. <laughs> I'm like, where am I? All right.
was it was going so well. D e natural, that's the one I'm missing. There we go. Okay. Turk level of like damping and stuff while this is going on but it was going okay until that last little bit it's just like whoa flat 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 sharp <laughs> the forest turned evil for a second <laughs> uh, seems to reflect the Korok hunt pretty well easy at the beginning hard at the end sounds about right sounds about right thanks for the request Okay, um, so let's, um, let's go and do this uh, request for something from Nier Automata next, so we can alternate songs I do and don't know, and then we'll get to Nary's after that. Uh, okay, so Nier Automata, um, okay, so from Automata, right now in my library I have a beautiful song and city ruins, which, let me see what else is on VG Lead Sheets, because, you know, I feel like there's like an obvious song that I'm not thinking about, but, uh, no, that's, there's only a couple of other songs on there. Yeah, there isn't that much near, you're right. What's like a popular song from near Automata? Is it like, Weight of the World or something, but I don't know how that one goes. Amusement Park? Okay, well, let me see what I can find. Um, okay, we do have an in-sheet music. Oh, this looks very playable. It's very long. Whoa, okay, we may not do the whole arrangement, but <laughs> it's five pages of sight reading, so um, we'll, we'll take it slow. Uh, okay, just tag that so I can find it later. Okay, all right, so let's try Amusement Park from Near Automata. All right, we're gonna take a go at this one. We can always do Way to the World another time. I should listen to it at some point though. <laughs> okay, so this is 120. I don't think I'm gonna play it that fast, but... Dun, 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 okay. Okay. I'll maybe do it slightly slower than that, but...
just gonna call it there because I'm like, I think this is only gonna get crazier. So, remember when I said I was gonna play a song that I knew and wasn't sight reading? That was apparently a lie. Um, <laughs> I thought I had more automata. I think I have more replicant songs um, on my on my iPad. But anyway, um, that was a fun little excursion. <laughs> Langstrand! Good to see you. Welcome back. Uh, yeah, this one is Amusement Park. Um, I, I have played City Ruins before. Um, but yeah. They're, they're a little, they're a little peddly, so anyways. <laughs> Alright, let me open Discord and take a look at the one that Neri was requesting. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. It actually doesn't look that bad. It's just all the all the Japanese lyrics. I was like, whoa, for a second. Okay. Um. So this is called Kiseki no Umi. What is this from? Do we? Just so that I can title it. From, let me scroll up. Uh, from Record of Lodos War. Okay. Interesting. If, is this an anime one? Just, I, I'm assuming so. An old anime. Basically D&D &D the anime. Okay. <laughs> cool. Alright, well I will, I will give this my best shot. We'll see how I do. All right, ooh, five sharps. Okay, well, I'm not gonna mess with it. Okay. counting in three at all. One. starts in the key of B major, so that's five sharps. 
And then they're like, actually, can you just put the other two sharps down as well? And I'm like, I guess so. And then they're like, can you play a D sharp major chord? And I'm like, I feel like maybe there is a better key you could have chosen for this piece. <laughs> it's cool though. I like uh, I like the the harmonies and stuff. Just a little hard to read. <laughs> Uh, cool. All right. Um, still beautiful. Yeah, I think it's a very cool piece. Just like, just my brain going, a D sharp, D sharp major. I mean, it's E flat. I should be playing E flat chord. But anyway. <laughs> um... Just trying to see if there's any other requests. We're feeling a little quiet today, I guess. That's okay. The problem is in the sight reading is is the harmonies kind of yeah, it's like the chords because it's like most of the time you see a chord symbol and you're like, this is probably using notes from the key. And then sometimes you're like, you play it and you're like, that doesn't sound right. <laughs> um, or sometimes it, it, it's not too hard to tell. Like if something's a major chord or a minor chord. If I need to like change a pedal from no, from the key signature, but then um, I think especially with like a sharp key, then you run into needing like double sharps and stuff, and I'm not very good at doing that on the fly. So, yeah, that's what makes this one challenging. <laughs> I'd be requesting, but you keep playing things I would request. Yeah, fair enough. Maybe the piano arrangement might have been easier. Maybe I, it's hard to say, but could be. Ballad of the Goddess, let's do it. Let's do it. Either way, cool request. So, okay. Alrighty. How will I play this today? I have no idea. My poor squeaky harp. I'm so sorry. She's just getting, getting up there in age a little bit. Oh well. Alright. come to it being like, what are we going to do with this one today? Don't know. <laughs> anyway, glad you liked it. I don't know if it's happy on Valentine's Day as far as the discounted chocolate goes. It's just like, you know, it's just a perk. Although, to be fair, I didn't actually buy any discount chocolate because I still have lots of chocolate from Christmas. <laughs> so, I like to, you know, savor my chocolate over a longer period of time. So I still have some around. Alrighty. Um, okay, I think I've definitely got time for at least one or two more requests. Okay, so we had one 
something from Final Fantasy that I already have. Definitely. Okay. Let's do... Um, let's do Final Fantasy VI. We're going to do Kids Run Through the City Corner. Because it's just nice. I always get confused. I think this one's in D major. It's not. It's in G. All right. There we go. six for us there so any chocolate related song <laughs> Choco Mountain all right let's we'll give it a go I think I I think I've tried that one before um, Choco Mountain all right <laughs> let me give this a go we'll give this one a go and then we'll finish up with Lon Lon Ranch okay let's see okay well Gonna give this a try.
those fun exercises because it sounds so great and pretty. It's from the Mario Kart game. It is a good exercise for sure. Um, I think I did okay with that. Okay, so it is just about time to <laughs> finish up with the stream um, while um, Eric very kindly puts away the groceries for us. Um, so before we go, first of all, I want to say thank you very much for being here. I always have a super fun time with these streams and I really appreciate you spending your time with me. Um, today I am going to be plugging my email list. So um, if you're not on that email list, basically um, you get a free song download of an original song that I wrote. Um, you get to know when I upload new YouTube videos and like just like kind of updates on what I've been up to or like music that I've been enjoying um, as well as for the harpists in the audience. Um, I send out harp tips about once a month now. So if you're interested in any of that, email list is the place to be. There's a link for it in the description. Um, so yeah, we'll finish off today as we usually do with Lon Lon Ranch. So have a great weekend, everybody. We'll play us out here with our usual ending song. again for coming. It's always great to have you here. Um, I'll be back again next Friday, same time, same place. So I hope I will see you there. Uh, that's all. That's all for today. So thanks again. See you later. Have a good weekend. Drink some water. Bye.